Thanks for downloading this episode of the Film Florida podcast. I'm John Lux, and I'm the executive director of Film Florida. Today, our guest is Republican State Senator Joe Gruders from Sarasota. He is also the chairman of the Republican Party of Florida. Senator Gruders graduated from Cardinal Mooney High School, then got his undergraduate degree from Florida State University and his MBA from the University of South Florida. When we talk about supporters of the film, television, and digital media industry, Senator Gruders is at the top of the list. This episode is a little shorter than some of our other episodes because Senator Gruders was kind enough to squeeze us in between committee meetings in Tallahassee. We talked to him about his support for the industry, life inside and outside the Florida legislature, and what's in his future. Before we get to our conversation with Senator Gruders, a couple of reminders. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to subscribe, rate, and review the Film Florida podcast. The more subscriptions and reviews we have, the easier it is for others to find our podcast. Also, we recently launched a Film Florida merchandise page. Visit teespring.com slash stores slash Film Florida to purchase Film Florida t-shirts, sweatshirts, and coffee mugs. And now our conversation with Senator Joe Gruders. Senator Gruders, thanks for joining us on the podcast today. Hey, thanks so much for having me on. So you are a native Floridian, correct? Born and raised in Sarasota? Born and raised. I'm a fourth generation Sarasotan. My great-grandfather came to town back in 1922 to uh, become the chief tent maker of the Ringling Circus. And uh, back then he was in charge of the winter quarters for John Ringling and uh, the the entire uh, operation there in Sarasota. And so my family uh, came in, and we've been there ever since. So entertainment is in your blood. That's it. You could, you could call us a circus family, but it's a it's amazing. We still have the old big top blueprints in my family. We have some other uh, memorabilia from the, the time period, and it's nice to be affiliated with uh, a part of history. So after being involved in politics for a number of years, what made you decide to run for the Florida House in 2016? Well, I never thought I'd run for the uh, House or the legislature. I was the party chairman for eight years at the time. Uh, when people came up to me, I would say, don't run to the legislature, go run for a local office. So you could have a much bigger impact. But I had a couple of conversations with some friends in Tallahassee, and it just seemed like uh, the opportunity was available to go try to make a difference uh, on that level. And politics is so different because here I am, a, a senator, and now the Republican Party of Florida chairman, and I've only been in it for three years. Things can move very, very quickly, and, and I'm just so fortunate to be able to, to represent my hometown of Sarasota. Uh, we live in the best possible place in the world. I think Sarasota is the cultural center of Florida. Sarasota and the surrounding areas are filled with the arts and entertainment and such amazing things, and it's, it's just such a awesome opportunity to go up and represent and fight for my area's interest on a daily basis, and, and I love helping people, so that's a uh, that led me to running, and, 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 and here I am uh, three years later in the Senate. So after just two years, you decided to run for a seat in the Florida Senate. Was there a specific reason that made you run for that seat, or was it more just timing that made it available? It's being at the right place at the right time. And uh, we had some movement and some legislative seats around me. We had a resignation of uh, a local congressman who represented the part of Sarasota, and it sort of like a domino effect. And, and I was able to get in, and as a result of my relationships in my community, that I basically had an open path to the Senate and the opportunity to serve in the Senate. The House was great, but the Senate is really awesome because you have so many opportunities. There's uh, so few members. You really get a chance to, to run as many bills as you like on the issues you'd like to, you're passionate about. There's no limits. And, uh, and I take full advantage of that and, and try to do as much as I possibly can and try to take advantage of every possible minute that I'm up here in Tallahassee. As I mentioned in the intro, you're at the very top of the list of legislators that support the film, television, and digital media industry. Of course, I'm biased, so I agree with you. But why do you support the industry so strongly? Well, it's it's partly because of my environment. And uh, in Sarasota County, we have the Ringling School of Art and Design. We are pumping out some of the best film students in the country. We have failed entertainment with a huge uh, uh, studio in our area. We have other studios in town. Uh, we're a community rich with tradition of film. And, 
And to tell you the truth, you know, when I see some of these films and shows that are filmed uh, in Florida, for example, Bloodline, you know, the, my wife and I took a trip to Key West as a result of the, watching that entire series. And, and that's what I always tell people, you know, the film industry, you know, we're trying all different things to try to revive it and try to help it and try to, to raise the awareness so we could bring the funding back because nothing makes me more upset when I see these shows that are supposed to be filmed in Florida, and then all of a sudden you see the Georgia peach or some other state uh, symbol uh, of where these things are being filmed at. It's unfortunate because the dividends that result of the filming in local communities pay off long after the filming has stopped. I think the, the long-term value of uh, tourism and, and everything else that's related uh, to the filming uh, uh, is well worth it. And I'm a local centric type uh, senator, I try to be. And, and as a result, with all the, the filming and the film elements in my community, to me it's, uh, it's another spoke in the wheel that makes our economy turn. And I think that there's a, a great opportunity for Florida to once again claim the title of being the leader of film and, and TV production. Uh, we just have to do a couple things here in Florida to make it so we could be more competitive in the overall environment. Senator, Republicans have held the majority in the Florida legislature, including the governor's mansion, while our industry has struggled to gain support from the legislature over the last five plus years. Therefore, there are some in our industry that blame the Republicans for not supporting the industry. But meanwhile, you, the chair of the Republican Party of Florida, are leading the charge for our industry. So help listeners understand why some and actually many Republicans support the industry so strongly while others do not. Well, policies are not always dictated by party. And obviously, this is one of them. And I think you can find Republicans on both sides of this issue. And I think you'll find Democrats on both sides of this issue. And what it is, it's a lot of it's education. You know, in Sarasota, we also have a very strong uh, film community. We have a film festival. We have a film office. And so as a result, I've been immersed in it for a long time. And so I understand the benefits and also some of the challenges. And, and, and listen, some of the other Republicans that are against it, they have a lot of valid points. You know, the return on investment, trying to make sure that we're getting the most uh, out of our tax dollars. And and all those are good, and that's what we've been trying to do is trying to turn the focus of, of not any type of giveaways but strategies, loans, programs that will reward people for coming in here and doing production and film and, and everything else in a way where the tax dollars are protected, but at the same time we're able to compete with some of these other states that are offering uh, these robust incentive packages. Uh, these are high-wage positions, and, and certainly when we have all these different film schools and production schools, whether it be you know, the FSU Film School, Ringling School, Full Sail, all these different schools across the state of Florida, it's crazy to be pumping out some of the best top graduates in the country year after year just to ship them to California or Georgia or Louisiana or somewhere else. So it's, uh, uh, for me, it's about economic development and uh, uh, moving forward, and I think that we have to do a better job and I have to do a better job now that I'm up here of educating my colleagues on, on why it's important for the long-term uh, growth of Florida. A lot of people that are listening to this episode are frustrated and confused that something that seems like such a no-brainer, like supporting the industry, continues to have challenges getting something passed in Tallahassee. What do you say to those people to help them keep the faith? Well, I would say get involved. Hopefully, just by listening, you're, you care enough about the, the industry and what's going on. Uh, and, and I would say pick up the phone and call your members. And the, the people who have the most success, if you have personal relationships, and it's tough to build those, but it's, I would get involved early on in the process when candidates are running for the first time and trying to make sure that they're armed with the right facts uh, before they get up here. Because once they're up here, if they start talking to certain people, it's over, and it's a uh, and you can be successful as a Republican uh, by supporting uh, this industry and, and some of the packages that we're trying to push. Uh, and my advice to everybody is just uh, stay involved and know that there are people working very hard to try to to bring this type of production back to Florida, and and, and don't give up. 
and just uh, continue to communicate as much as you can with your local reps and senators. For those listening that don't know, and, and we've mentioned this in a previous episode, but being a state legislator in Florida is technically a part-time job. Uh, outside the legislature, you're a CPA, and a lot of legislators are lawyers, some are involved in real estate, some are in the medical field, but there are just a few CPAs. What perspective do you have as an accountant that other legislators might not have that you bring to the table? Yeah, great question. But I always say we we could use a lot more CPAs and a lot less attorneys up here in Tallahassee because (laughs) as a CPA, I'm the only CPA in the Senate. I think I'm the only practicing CPA that served in the Senate uh, somebody said maybe in the last 50 years. And, and the reason why it's uh, valuable to have a CPA is I'm on the front lines of businesses on a daily basis. And I see exactly what uh, my clients are going through, the struggles they face. And as a result, over the last three years, I have the highest rating with the, the Florida Chamber. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pro-business, I'm pro-growth, whether it be film programs that's going to lead to jobs or, or other programs and economic development uh, packages you know, my thing is, is how can we do better for Florida families? Because I think that if a family could make more money, they could be a better provider for their children. They're going to be happier and everybody wins. They're paying more taxes. And so for me, it's about driving the economy forward. And Florida's in a great job of being one of the best places to start a new business and to own a business. But we could do a much better job of raising real wages for everyone across the board. So Uh, You can afford to live where you work, and you can uh, raise your family in a way that uh, you're comfortable and happy. And you can only do that if you have a great economic uh, situation and and you have the ability to – or mobility to to move up uh, on the economic uh, ladder with uh, hard work and and dedication. Senator, outside of being a legislator, what do you like to do for fun, and what hobbies do you have or personal passions? I tell you why, I love watching movies. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I, I, I am definitely a movie guy. It's a, uh, uh, I'm a college football uh, fanatic. I, I'm a Florida State fan. Uh, my, my alma mater, I served on the board of trustees there. And so uh, I love going to football games. And, 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 and I have three young children, so being able to spend time with them, they're young. But it's a, uh, uh, we're right on the cusp of new experiences and just uh, you know, trying to spend as much time as I possibly can. Because as a CPA, it's not like some of these other jobs that people have uh, where you don't have to show up to work. I only make money when I have pencil uh, on the paper and I'm, I'm pounding out hours. And so I uh, uh, treasure the time that I get to spend with my family. And, and so that's uh, if I'm not uh, at the office or up here in Tallahassee, I'm usually with them. So what's the future for you, Senator, whether it's the Republican Party of Florida or the Florida Senate or beyond? What's in your future? Well, I'm just so happy to be able to serve in the positions that I hold. You know, it's like I said, in three years to be able to, to be the state senator and the state party chairman. It's uh, been a very fortunate, lucky rise. But, you know, I just want to focus on the jobs that I do have and be the best senator for my area that I possibly could be. And I want to bring back as much as I possibly can and just be a uh, – an MVP for uh, not only Sarasota and Charlotte counties, but for the entire state. I, I, I want us to continue uh, to lead the country in job growth and everything else. And, and the future will take care of itself. And I think that as long as I continue to do the best job that I possibly can, uh, that the sky's the limit. So I'm, I'm very uh, fortunate and very happy to be where I'm at. Senator Gruders, we really appreciate you making time for us so our audience can learn more about you. And I know I speak for the entire industry when I say thank you for everything you have done and continue to do to support our industry. And I look forward to seeing you soon in Tallahassee. Hey, thanks so much. I really appreciate everything and best of luck. I look forward to working with you this uh, session. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Film Florida podcast. For more information about Film Florida, go to filmflorida.org or visit our social media pages on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Check out the Film Florida merchandise page at teespring.com slash stores slash Film Florida. And don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review the podcast. 